Hey guys, welcome back. Um, my name's Stacy. If you're new here, um, I am on my denture journey and I still have my teeth. Uh, but I am two days away from extraction day. Um, today's Wednesday. It is about, what time is it? Three o'clock in the afternoon here. Um, so I go Friday at 10 a.m. So we're not even two days away. <laughs> Uh, my nerves are really starting to settle in. I'm really starting to feel all of the feelings. Um, I'm trying to hold my camera at an angle because I notice my eyes look very slanted whenever I have my iPad up straight and I don't like that. Um, hmm. Oh well, we'll just hold it here too. Maybe I'll be too shaky. Anyway, um, yes, we are two days away from extraction day and I am freaking out. <laughs> Gonna be completely honest. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm excited. Don't get me wrong. I'm excited. However, I am extremely scared. Um, I'm not sure if I'm more afraid of the surgery itself or if I'm afraid of the pain. Because I'm, um, from what I'm hearing, I'm not going to be given pain medication. Um, I'm going to ask for it. Like, I don't know how to really ask a dentist for pain medication without sounding like a drug addict. Like, I've never really had surgery before. I mean, I've had a cesarean section and that was awful. Um, I've had my wisdom teeth pulled. I had some other teeth pulled. Um, I just had a thyroidectomy because I had thyroid cancer, have thyroid cancer. Um, so, I mean, I've had a few surgeries, but I imagine this one's going to be quite painful. Um, I can't really take ibuprofen. Um, I have really bad stomach ulcers. Uh, anytime I take even something that's in capsule form, it tears my stomach apart to the point that I have to go to the emergency room to get IV medication. Um, so being dependent on ibuprofen is going to be really hard. Um, I do have Tylenol and Naproxen, but I do need something to help with the swelling. I wish my dentist offered, I hear there's some kind of shot they can give you to reduce the swelling in the roof of your mouth. Um, I'm going to mention it, but I doubt it. This dentist seems very old school. He seems like he's like 90 years old and that also scares me, <laughs> but um, my insurance is covering it, so I guess I can't complain. Um, if you're new here, I paid out of pocket for my d immediate denture at Aspen Dental. Well, I actually paid for a full package, but I just have my immediates for just now. And then six months from now, I go back and get my <coughs> um, permanents. I paid for the comfy lights from Aspen Dental. Um, however, I found an oral surgeon who is about an hour and 45 minutes away that accepts my insurance and does sedation. So I figured why not? I paid for my dentures and my insurance is covering my extractions. However, <clears throat> this situation kind of screwed me because now I feel like neither dentist really cares about my aftercare and I'm just kind of in the woods on my own. Okay. I mean to mention, excuse my Rudolph nose. Um, I tried to put in some really pretty um, hoop that had some bedazzles on it and my nose rejected it. Um, so I had to go get new nose rings and my nose is all red and sore for me trying to get the new nose ring in and such. So forgive me for looking like Rudolph but I can't put makeup on it right now or it's going to get worse. And I may have to take my nose ring out on Friday for extraction day so I'm hoping to get it just at least a little healed before then. But anyway, so. I paid for my dentures and I'm going to Dubois, which is two hours away from me to have my extractions. Um, I'm kind of nervous because like I said, this, I, I mean, I'm not kind of, I'm very nervous. <laughs> this dentist is really old, which kind of at the same time gives me hope because I know he's been doing this for a really long time. So I know he has experience. However, I just, being in his office, it literally looks like you walked into an office from 1980. Um, everything was just old school. <laughs> um, but I'm keeping my faith that everything is going to be okay. Um, however, like I said, going to these two different places has really not given me the benefit because, um, from my understanding, a lot of people go back for checkups within like 24 to 48 hours and <clears throat> their dentist teaches them how to take their denture out for the first time and clean it and whatnot. They make sure that your denture fits well, that you don't have a bunch of sore spots, and they check that you're good. I figured spending all this money at Aspen Dental that they would see me right away and give me good care. No, 
They scheduled me for my first soft reline for three weeks after my surgery. Okay, fantastic. What happens if I get sore spots and rubs? Because I know it's gonna happen. Okay, I call in and you can't fit me in, then what happens? I'm kind of frustrated that um, it seems like common practice that a lot of people are seen right after and are taught how to use their denture. I was kind of just handed mine and walked out the door. She did not teach me how to clean them. I was not told that they need to be kept in water at all times. Um, I was not aware of any of this unless I had my denture groups on Facebook. I'm so thankful for these groups. So thankful. I don't know what I would do without them. Um, I have so many unanswered questions. So many things I'm worried about afterwards. Um, even my oral surgeon does not plan to see me at all unless I'm having problems. So I'm having all these teeth pulled and not one dentist to check up on me. I'm kind of frustrated after spending so much money out of pocket with Aspen Dental that I'm receiving such crappy care. Um, but it's already paid for, so there's really no going back now. I just hope I have a better experience when it comes to getting my permanence because from what I hear, things don't get better with Aspen. They just get worse after you pay for things. So I hope that's not the case in my situation. I know every Aspen Dental can be different because they're all locally owned. So I hope whoever goes to their Aspen has a better experience than I am right now. Um, but I guess we'll just have to see how things go moving forward. Who knows? Um, preparing for E-Day. Everyone's telling me, eat your favorite foods, please. You're not gonna eat for a long time. And I honestly can't even say that I am craving anything right now or that I have a favorite food that I could make because I'm so nervous that I don't even have an appetite. <laughs> it sucks because like I want so badly to eat because I know I'm not gonna be able to, but like I just don't, I don't have an appetite and I think it's my nerves. Well, I know it's my nerves, um, <clears throat> but I'm trying to get up the want to eat, uh, hopefully at least for dinner for the next few nights. Um, there was really no sole purpose to this video. I wasn't coming on to give information. It was just kind of a venting uh, cause we're getting so close to the day. I just wanted to come on here and be real and share my feelings cause this is not all peaches. <clears throat> I am really struggling. <laughs> um, it's, uh, I think I've already accepted trying to see myself with no teeth. I mean, I know that's something no one can ever prepare for fully. So I don't expect to ment mentally be prepared to see myself for the first time. I know I'm going to cry. Uh, I'm trying to remind myself the pain is going to be worth it. I'm hoping I don't swell up too bad. Um, I have lots of ice packs. I actually just ordered one of those uh, wisdom teeth wraps from Amazon that has the wrap that goes around your head to hold the packs in place. And I also, and you'll see in my previous videos, if you want to have a look, um, some other ice packs that I bought to cover the front of my mouth that are perfect. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't know if there's anything that I've bought in the last few days. I, I just grabbed a little, a few random things here and there, like little mouthwashes and other um, bonding uh, strips and stuff, just in case I don't like the ones I have. Um, but other than that, I am just, glad that you guys are here um i can't thank everyone enough for all the views and the love that i'm receiving um i really it really sucks being in this situation so yeah it does um i never well, i can't say i never expected to be here because like genetics wise my brother has dentures my mom has dentures my dad had dentures a lot of people in my family have dentures um however after having so many kids and depleting myself of absolutely every vitamin but uh calcium especially being anemic and having thyroid problems and now cancer, um, my teeth have just taken a shot. And it's been hard because like I hear so many people tell me, your teeth don't look that bad, why are you having them pulled? And that's made things even harder for me to accept. Like it's, it's taken me a lot to get to this point of acceptance to even realize like, okay, you need dentures and you're 30 years old and you're going to have dentures. Like it took me weeks to get to this point, to even schedule the appointment and agree to go through with this. And now that I've reached that acceptance, um, while I know all these people mean well, it's also giving me a lot of second thoughts. Like, am I making the right choice? Did I push the gun too far? Um, I could be getting these teeth fixed instead of pulling them out. But the reality of it is, while my teeth don't look so bad to the naked eye, 
um, up close, like I'm starting to get decay in between my teeth and behind them. Um, my teeth have no, like, they're just brittle. Uh, they're chipping left and right. You can see how John's chipping off. Um, I'm getting cavities behind them and, and they're just see-through. The, uh, and I'm, they're translucent, pretty much. Um, my back molars are crap. They all need a ton of work and by the time they get all filled, they're gonna be hollow because they're just full of crap from even when I was a kid. I still have amalgam fillings in my mouth from when I was like nine years old. Um, still in there. My teeth are just jacked. They are not strong enough to hold a partial and I definitely need a partial. Uh, my front tooth is a failed root canal that has now cracked into the, uh, into the root and now into the gum. Um, they said there's no saving it. I have to have it pulled. My tooth front, my front tooth has to go no matter what. So even if I just pulled my front tooth and got a partial, my teeth are not strong enough to hold the metal of a partial denture. And I don't like the way they look in the front. So I was concerned about how that would look. Uh, believe me, I've done so much research. I've obsessively watched YouTube's videos and there's so many people on here. I, I don't, I don't want to miss anybody. I've been watching so many different people in here like Spida Liz and <clears throat> Wyo Chick April, uh, Biker Chick, I think her name is. Trying to give some shout outs to some people I've been watching because I've really been watching a lot of people. Uh, Glitterhead Dental Diaries, of course. I, I talked to Alicia on about every single app here, TikTok, Facebook. Um, there's also another beautiful girl that I've been watching a lot. I'm trying to think of what her name is. Ashley um, Carrillo. Um, really giving me inspiration and making me feel like I'm going to be all right in the end of this. Um, I, like I said, I've watched so many videos and read so many things on Facebook. Uh, I've asked so many questions in my denture groups. Um, <laughs> I'm, I, but it does really suck because I feel like I have no guidance from my dentist. I don't know how soon I'm supposed to take out my denture. Um, I didn't know that they're supposed to remain in water if you decide that you're not going to wear them for the night. I could have broken my denture. Um, I was not told that you need to use a special toothbrush. Um, I don't even know how I'm supposed to pull them out for the first time. Uh, if I had to say what I'm most afraid of, it would be removing my dentures for the first time after surgery. Because people are saying removing your dentures after surgery is brutal. <laughs> and I'm trying to imagine what that pain is going to feel like. People say it almost brings them to their knees. And that scares me. <laughs> I'm trying to think maybe my experience won't be so bad. You know, everybody's different, but I can't help but think, you know, this is gonna suck. No matter how we think about it, it's gonna suck. And I'm trying not to be vain, but um, I just really hope my face doesn't start to like sink in right here. And if anyone has any tips on how to keep your lip from falling in, I'd really appreciate that. Um, I'm really concerned about my top lip becoming invisible. I mean, believe me, I know there are plastic surgery ways of fixing that, but I'd rather not, you know, Um, but I love all the feedback I'm getting. I'm really enjoying talking to everyone. And I hope that you guys continue to follow me through this journey. Um, I'm sure I'll post again tomorrow because, um, I'm going to be extra nervous tomorrow wanting to talk things out. I wish I could do live because I hate not being able to interact live with people. Hopefully one day soon. Um, but I plan to think, I think I'm going to film on the way the morning of how I'm feeling and then we'll see about filming afterwards. I don't know how out of it I'm gonna be. Um, my husband's not a big vlogger so we'll see what he's up to doing but um, if I'm not feeling too up to it I'll probably update a few hours later when I'm able. Um, but either way I hope y'all keep continuing to join me on this journey because it's not over yet. It's only beginning and I truly appreciate all the encouragement and support and those of you who are, here who are still on the other side like me please don't feel ashamed please don't feel embarrassed. We have to remember that we are doing this to, for our health and to better ourselves. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Um, I don't know why I feel like I'm going to be more ashamed walking around with fake teeth than I am walking around with these jacked up teeth because if I ain't lurking, I look ridiculous. I didn't even get the partial I needed. I'm kind of excited. Like I've never had a pretty smile that I felt confident smiling with and I'm really looking forward to doing that. Hopefully, they fit well. Hopefully my face accepts them and hopefully we have good results. Um, we shall see. We're getting close. Uh, but please continue to follow along because we're getting there.
almost to the finish line. Well, not quite. I guess we're st finishing the beginning of the race and starting the marathon. <laughs> ah. But I love all of y'all and I hope to see you back here soon. Um, I'll be back again tomorrow with another update. Have a good night.